canon version of Daily Double Fruit, so we're going to start with the Time Time Fruit. Uh, it's a pretty simple fruit. It lets you travel forward in time. It was eaten by somebody whose name also means time, so this is very confusing. The Toki Toki Fruit was eaten by Toki. How many times can I say Toki in this video? The fruit's power is twofold. One, you can send yourself forward in time, or two, you can send somebody else forward in time. And it doesn't seem like there's like a, a limit to how many people you can send. We do believe there is a limit to how far you can send them. So you can send somebody up to 20 years, as far as we're aware. Uh, you know, Awakening might be able to send them more, but the problem is it's a one-way trip. You go forward and you can't go back. Another problem with the fruit is that you can't change position. You can travel through time, but not space. So whenever you go forward, you just spawn right where you're at, wherever it is. And, you know, in an island world, the difficulty remains that if you spawn on a beach or you leave on a beach and you spawn, spawn where the beach was you may not spawn on an island you may just spawn in the middle of the ocean because tectonic plates I, i'm assuming one piece has tectonic plates considering quake quake fruit exists so they have to know what earthquakes are and earthquakes happen with tectonic plates so i'm assuming that they have those if they don't then this gets really weird but anyway you gotta be careful whenever you teleport through time I do believe the awakening of this fruit would send you back in time, though. So you just have complete control over where you are in time. Don't know if you could affect the things properly, but you could at least travel through time. So yeah, Toki just travels through time and forward, sends other people forward, too.